Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com In this video we are going to look at how to use the VLOOKUP function to perform a conditional discount. Now this is the kind of scenario that I tend to see people use in multiple IF functions for some kind of nested IF scenario where VLOOKUP is much more in tune to do this depending what the criteria is obviously. Now we've got a very typical criteria example here where I have a list of quantities and depending on the bulk of the order and how much quantity somebody orders depends on the discount they get uh, which is tiered so it, you get a bigger discount the more you order. I've got this table on the left of some example orders and all I want to do is figure out this discount column. And we're going to use VLOOKUP to look for a quantity in this table and return a relevant discount. Rather than having to possibly do the like of, you know, if A4 is bigger than F4, or is it bigger than F5, and so on. Now, before I do this, let's just make sure we are all aware that there is a range name on my little lookup table here. It has been named discounts and I'll be using that name in the VLOOKUP rather than F4 to G11, sorry G10 even. Okay so here we go equals VLOOKUP in my discount cell here lookup value. Okay that is the quantity of this order so A4 comma table array so that's where we're going to be looking for that quantity and that will be my discounts table so if I highlight that table or type discounts if I highlight it it will write discounts for me comma the column index number now that's what column of the table array do you want to return information from I want it from the second column of it so 2, I want that discount, comma, do you want an approximate or an exact match? I want an approximate match. So I'm either going to type true or I could just ignore this question because it's an optional question and true is the default response. But I'm going to type true for possibly a more meaningful formula when others look at this. I'll put my close bracket on the end. And all being well, that's 170, so it should return the big 15% discount. And it does. Now I copy that to the bottom of the list, then I'll get a discount relevant to everybody. 78, 91 and 85 are all in between 75 and 100. So in this approximate match scenario, that means it's going to return 6% as its response. So it always goes for the the previous one when they say it's the closest match or an approximate match. So that is how we can use a VLOOKUP for a conditional discount scenario. I hope you found that tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials on this YouTube channel or at computerguardguard.com.